Welcome to the Heuristic Lab video tutorial Rapid Prototyping using the Scripting Environment. In this tutorial I'll show you how to use Heuristic Lab's scripting functionalities that allow you to write and execute c -sharp code directly inside Heuristic Lab. Scripts can be created like any other items using the New Item dialog. By clicking on File, New, a c -sharp script can be created from the script section. The optimizer will show you a new empty script. Like many other items in Heuristic Lab, this script can be named. We will call it Hello World and start with this simple example. On the left side you can see the code editor. Each script has to derive from the c -sharp script base class and override its main method in order to be executable. For the script class itself any name can be chosen. Let's now write some text to the standard output. You can check the script for syntax errors by clicking the compile button or by hitting F6. Compilation errors will be shown in the error list at the bottom of the view and include an error number, column and row numbers, as well as a short description. The output window will also give you a hint about a successful or failed compilation. A compilable script can be executed by clicking the Execute button or by hitting F5. The script will then transition into an executing state and cannot be further modified. In this case the script finished successfully and the output is shown in the output window. Long running scripts can be stopped anytime by clicking the Stop button or by hitting Shift F5. This will abort the thread in which the script is running. Let's extend the running time of the script, execute and interrupt it. Let's now have a look at the way one can use variables inside a script. Each script owns a variable store. The content of the store can be seen on the right side. As you can see, our store is currently empty. To create or use a variable x, we can use vars.x in our script. If we execute the script, the created variable will be stored. Double clicking a variable will open the according view for its content type if such a view is available. You can also rename, add or delete variables and use the drag and drop feature. To check if a variable with a certain name already exists, you can use the contains method. If you want to remove all variables, you can simply call the clear method. When saving a script, keep in mind that not all types are supported by Heuristic Lab's persistence and a warning will be displayed right next to the variables that cannot be saved. You can also access Heuristic Lab's rich API by including the according namespaces. Let's have a look at the rapid prototype of a genetic algorithm that solves a quadratic assignment problem. Here you can see how we create a new quadratic assignment problem, define parameters like the population size, the number of generations or the mutation rate and use the Mersenne twister for random number generation. For analysis purposes we create a data table that is immediately shown by the optimizer to get a live visualization of the best solution's quality in each generation. A QAP solution is represented by a permutation. The crossover and mutation operators can also be called statically and each solution is evaluated using the QAP evaluator. Let's execute the script and check out the results. Heuristic Lab comes with a bunch of script samples that will show you how to write code for algorithm prototyping, experiment creation, GUI automation, 
and other tasks. This concludes the Heuristic Lab video tutorial Rapid Prototyping using the scripting environment. I hope that you got an idea on how to use the scripting functionalities in Heuristic Lab and begin with rapid prototyping by implementing your own scripts.